Hello everybody, this is Jacob with the Developer Engagement Team here at Genesis, and today I'm going to be talking about updating the priority and skills of an interaction that's in queue. There's two different ways you can do this. You can use the Genesis Cloud API, or you can use Architect's built-in tools, and I'm going to go over both approaches today. So why would you want to do this in the first place? Let's say you have an interaction that's sitting in queue, and 20 minutes go by and it hasn't been answered. And at that point, you decide you want to boost the priority of that call so that it gets answered more quickly. That would be one example. Another, let's say you have a bilingual customer that calls in, and their first language is Spanish, and their second language is English. So you want to route that call to a Spanish-speaking agent. But there aren't any available. So you decide that you want English-speaking agents to be able to answer that call as well. That would be another example. Uh, before we get into the how-to, I want to give a couple of suggestions about testing. So in the admin section of the Genesis Cloud app, if you go to the routing settings for the queue that you plan on using for this, uh, you can set the routing method to standard routing and the evaluation method to all skills matching, and that will make testing a little bit easier. If this is your first time using NQ flows, uh, I'm going to go to voice settings since I'm using voice calls, and you'll want to make sure that the NQ flow for that queue is set to the flow that you plan on using for the testing. If you're the tester, you want to make sure that you're on queue so that you can receive notifications for the interactions as they come in. So with that out of the way, I'm going to go over to the inbound call flow. And now the inbound call flow is going to be the same for both approaches, but I'm going to start with the built-in architect tools approach. So if we look at the menu prompt, uh, we've got this audio sequence that says for English, press one, for Spanish, press two, press nine to disconnect. And we're going to have a separate handling for each one of those tasks. So if we look at transfer English, we're transferring to the transcription queue. And we're not updating the language skill here because English is the default language. If we look at transfer Spanish, we're doing just about the same thing. We're transferring to the queue, but this time we're updating the language skill over here in the routing section of transfer to ACD. So if I look at the editor, uh, what we're doing is we're taking the name of that language skill, passing it into this find language skill function, and then taking the result of that and passing it into to language skill. So that's how it's getting set. And then if we look at the NQ flow, the objective of this flow is that we're going to play hold music for a certain amount of time. And then after that, we're going to make a logical decision. So if this is a Spanish speaking call, now we're going to update the skills so that English speaking agents can answer the call as well. Uh, after that, we're going to boost the priority of the call. So we can go into each one of these actions a little more in depth. So for hold music, I'm setting it to 15 minutes, and you can change that duration as you wish. After that, we're going to make this logical decision. So if I look at the editor, we're doing something similar to what we did in the inbound call flow, except this time we're making a, a comparison to the call's language skill, and we're going to get a Boolean out of that. So then in set skills, uh, which you can find under conversation, in the toolbox along with set priority. If we look at the editor, this time we're going to set that to English instead of Spanish. And then we're going to boost the priority. Again, you can change this value as you wish. And then we're just going to play some more whole music. And at that point, we've accomplished the goal. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the API approach. And my NQ flow for the API approach is just playing hold music. That's the only thing it's doing. And I'm going to do a demonstration. So I'm an agent, and I have the English-speaking skill, but I don't have the Spanish-speaking skill. And I'm going to call in the inbound flow, and I'm going to select the Spanish-speaking option. So the call is just going to sit in queue because I'm the only member of the queue as the agent, and I don't have the Spanish-speaking skill. But then what we're going to do is we're going to update the conversation using the Genesis Cloud CLI. And at that point, we should see a notification come in that I can answer or decline because now English speaking agents can answer the call as well. So the only CLI uh, command that you will have to use the corresponding API resource for is this GC routing conversations update. Uh, like I said, the API resource that corresponds with this command 
is the necessary one. The rest of this may change depending on your implementation. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the flow ID associated with my NQ flow, which I've already done, and plug that into this conversation details query request body. So I've got these segment filters with predicates for flow ID and segment duration. And I've updated the flow ID here. I also have this conversation in does not exist, meaning that the conversation is ongoing. And next, I'm going to get the language ID for English, which I have done. And I plug that into my conversation update request body. So now I'm going to call in to the inbound flow. I'm going to select the Spanish option. And that's going to sit on queue. And meanwhile, I'm going to run this conversation details query command. So we've got that. And the result is stored in this JSON file. And I'm going to come get the ID from that in just a second. But I'm going to take this conversation update command and paste that in. And now I'm going to, going to replace this conversation ID. So let me take the conversation ID from the results of that conversation details query, paste that in, and now what we should see when I hit enter is that we're going to get a notification. And we do. So I'm going to just go ahead and decline that. I'm going to show one more thing, and that's how you can look up the API endpoints that match with Genesis Cloud CLI commands. So to do that, you can go to the Developer Center and navigate to Developer Tools on the front page, and then scroll down until you see Platform API CLI and follow that link and then you can click documentation and that will take you to a list of all the CLI commands over on the left side and you can filter those for the ones that you're looking for. So I'm looking for the conversation updates command that we use during the demonstration. So that's going to be gc underscore routing underscore conversations and now this update matches with an HTTP method so the API endpoint is actually going to be a level up in GC routing conversations. If we click on that one, we'll get the documentation and we'll see the API endpoint here under synopsis. And also we can see the update method in the see also section. So that concludes this video and have a great day.